Hey everybody, it's Miss Moore. I'm going to be going over the Population Pyramid project with you. We are now in Module 2, learning about population pyramids. You should have viewed the video and participated in the uh, discussion, um, the TED Talk video on population pyramids. You should have viewed the module resources, and now you are going to create and analyze a population pyramid. So let's go look at the assignment. So today you are going to work with a partner um, and we're going to make our own population pyramids. Now a couple things to remember, there should be in your population pyramid you're going to need to use two different colors, one side um, for males and one side for females. So you and your partner will create and analyze four population pyramids. You will use the demographic data that I've provided. So you're going to click here where it says demographic data and pull that sheet up. Uh, so all of these statistics will pull up for country A, country B, country C, and country D. And you are going to figure out the percentage um, of people in each age range. So how will you do this? So you will use, and I'm just going to go to the bottom, we're going to try to figure out the percentage of people for country A, um, males 0 to 4. And the best way to determine that, um, so what you'll do, and I pull my calculator up here, you're going to take um, the 10,000, 19, hundred and seventeen people you're going so that's the population for males zero to four in country A and you're going to divide it by the total population so three two four one one eight seven eight seven and we're going to hit um, equals. Now remember we're trying to come up with a percentage so you're going to move the percentage sign um, to our two places uh, to the right, the decimal sign. Um, so we're going to go one and two. So about three percent of their population um, in country A uh, is uh, the age range of zero to four. Going back to the assignment, so you'll do that for each one. You'll figure out, so you'll take the population of the age range, divide it by the total. So you'll need to do that for, for the males and um, for the females. So again, you'll use the total population at the bottom of each column. All right, so we're gonna go back. So after you figured out all the percentages, the next thing that you'll do is you're actually going to make a population pyramid. I've given you two options. Um, I have provided graph paper. All right, so if you want to um, physically make this, um, remember you'll need to um, have a side for the boys and a side for the girls, and you'll have to indicate, indicate the age range um, of each side. So I've provided graph paper for you, or if you are um, creative, um, you can actually create your own population pyramid digitally. All right, now remember again, you must use two different colors, one for males and one for females. I don't care the color that you use, they just have to be different. Um, after you've graphed all of your population pyramids, so you've figured out the percentage for each age range, you have created your population pyramid. The next thing that you need to decide um, is, uh, or the next thing that you will need to do is determine the stage of demographic development. All right, so uh, we have no countries in stage one, so there should be a population pyramid for a stage two country, three, four, and five. Each country um, will be a different stage, so countries from stages two to five. So you will identify um, country A, B, and C, and D if it is a stage 
two, three, four, or five, and then you'll explain why. Using that population pyramid and the information that you learned from the TED Talk and viewing the resources, um, you'll use that information to explain why um, you believe that that, that pyramid reflects that stage of demographic transition. You will make a flip grid, so you use this uh, link, and here's the code to join. Um, you'll create a flip grid. Please make sure in your Flipgrid video that you include your population pyramid so I can see your work and I can uh, hear your explanation. If you run into any problems, remember my email is shannon.moore at cobk12.org and my office hours um, are Wednesday from 5 or 3.30 to 5.30. Thank you.